Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Fio Dio gaming keyboard. This is the F2068 model, and this one's using the blue mechanical keys. So it's actually going to be a very, very clicky keyboard, a uh, pretty loud keyboard, not something you'd want to use if you need it to be quiet. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here just to show you how it looks when you first start it up. Get some nice little light patterns here. And then you're ready to go. Something to note right off the bat on this keyboard is that you cannot change the colors of the individual keys. So what you see here is the color that's going to be on each key. So for instance, the number pad is yellow. It's always going to be yellow. The arrow keys here are purple. They're always going to be purple. You've got these WASD gaming keys over here in purple. Again, those will always be purple. So unlike some other keyboards where you can change the individual key colors, this one's using fixed LEDs. Uh, so the colors that you see are what you get. Now, the instructions are actually very, very poor with this keyboard. It doesn't really explain how to get into a lot of the different color pattern modes. It actually just says to, to change the colors or to change the patterns, you push function, which is the key here, and then insert. So here's one mode. You can see you've just got your gaming keys here and arrows. And then we did another function insert. This is another mode, it just kind of fades in and out. This one, it looks like the keys are just on, but actually what happens is as you type each key, they fade for a second, you can see that. And then final mode here is just, we're back where we started and all the keys are lit all the time. So at first I thought, okay, well, that's not a lot of different modes compared to some other keyboards I've seen. And that's all the instructions said do is just function insert, switch modes, looks like there's four modes. But then what I discovered is that if you just hold down function and push some of these other keys over here in the same little area where insert is, it actually gets you to all the other patterns. So this is completely left out of the instructions. You might have to experiment with it a little bit, but there's a lot of different patterns that you can go to just by doing function and then one of the keys over here in this grid. This is a, a ripple mode, so whatever key you tap, it's going to ripple away from it. And then if you do the uh, function and then left, right keys, you actually speed up and slow down the patterns. And then also if you do function and up and down, that's gonna what be controls your brightness. So you've got one, two, three, four, five levels of brightness, or of course you can have it all the way off. There's also a mode, uh, it says that you're able to do function and then end. And you should be able to go into a mode where you can actually program exactly which keys you want to be on or off. That doesn't seem to work for me. So I suspect that there is a way to do it. It's just probably hidden the same way that all the patterns were hidden. So you might be able to do that, but I haven't figured out a way to do it yet. Um, another thing you can do is if you do function and then the windows key, you're gonna see you get this Windows indicator lit over here. That's just telling you that you now have the Windows key disabled. So if you wanna disable that Windows key when you're playing a game so you don't accidentally switch out the desktop, you can do that. There's also a lot of, of multimedia functions uh, that you can get to by doing function and then the F keys. So you know if you wanna do pause, playback, or, or things like that, you can do that except there's no icons on the keys. So I don't know if it's that useful since you're not gonna actually know what the keys do. You'll, you would just have to memorize those functions. So it may or may not be useful to you. And then, like I said, these are the blue keys. So they're gonna be pretty clicky. I'll just give you an idea of what they sound like. So pretty clicky keys. Uh, the other thing is that this keyboard claims that it has the full 104 key rollover, essentially meaning that you could strike all the keys at once, kind of just mash your hand down on it and it should register all of them. I haven't seen that be the case. Um, to me, it looks like it just does six key rollover. So if I were to just push my hand down on the keys, I just see six letters appear on the screen. And uh, there is actually a function, it says function print screen will switch between the six and I guess the end key or all key rollover. I haven't found it to be the case. So it claims to be 
N key rollover, but from what I've seen, it's six key rollover. May or may not make a difference to you. It kind of gets important if you're a really, really fast typist or if you're gonna be hitting a lot of keys in games, but it doesn't seem to work for me. Uh, it also includes this handy little keycap puller. So if for whatever reason you need to pull one of the keycaps, you can just pull that on there, pull the keycap right off. You can replace them, it gives you access to those blue switches that are underneath there as well in case you might need to replace a blue switch. And then you just position it back on there and push down and you're back in business there. But overall, I think this is a pretty good keyboard. Um, I, I like the key travel. I like the clickiness. It, it's got a really good feel to it. If it was me, I'd probably just leave all the colors on like this just because I would want a fully backlit keyboard and then you could use the, the function up and down to adjust the brightness how you like. You know, the patterns are, are kind of cool, but I think you'll probably get tired of these patterns after a while. I don't know why you would want to be sitting at your keyboard and having this going on while you're typing, but maybe you do. Anyways, I think it's a good keyboard overall. I think it's it's well-priced, and uh, yeah, I think it's a good value for getting that true clicky mechanical feel. So check it out.